All right, live from the Food Network Kitchen, complete with an aromatherapy candle off camera for some additional light. The weather is not cooperating today. We will do the best we can. We have the Nitro Cold Brew from Starbucks, but in a can. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so you saw intro and the thumbnail. This is the Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. I went with the vanilla sweet cream flavor. I believe they have a dark caramel or caramel. Caramel, caramel, whichever way you say it. And they also have a uh, version of just black. Black cold brew, so you can add whatever you want. I wanted the more sweetened version. Now, uh, nitrogen. They have the uh, on tap options at some of the Starbucks. I think the majority of Starbucks now. Now, I have never tried the actual nitro cold brew from the uh, tap inside of Starbucks. So I'm going in reverse. Willy Wonka. I'm trying it out of the can first. All right, so let's give it a, a try. One more look at the can. Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. And it is true, if you see a nice little uh, flickering of light uh, hitting the can, there is a candle off camera because a uh, very overcast day. All right, so let's open this uh, bad boy up. Ooh, that had a uh, loud sound. Ooh, all right, let's check it out. 70, what is it, 70 calories for the can. Only a nine ounce can, 9.6 ounce can. A 9.6 ounce can, this bad boy in typical uh, Starbucks fashion was $3.49. All right, let's check it out. All right, so I have a glass in hand and I have the can. I was gonna do a little pour action for you, but I'm gonna get you a better shot. It's gonna be riveting, stay tuned. All right, welcome back. That was a little anticlimactic. I was hoping to get a little bit of the uh, cascade, that's a little Starbucks cascade uh, motion right there. Uh, but when they use the um, uh, tap, you get a nice little cascade of foam and uh, cold brew goodness going into your cup. That didn't happen for me. I'm sorry I put you through that. My condolences. All right, so check it out. In the glass, there it is. Little bit of a foam uh, topping right there. And uh, let's give it a smell. All right, so there is a little uh, sweet smell to that. I like it. Uh, vanilla Sweet Cream Nitro Cold Brew. Hope it doesn't have that uh, artificial, that chemical, that aftertaste that a lot of these uh, cans and uh, bottled uh, coffees do have. So fingers crossed. Hmm. Right off the bat. Right off the bat, not as sweet as I would like it. Just putting that out there. And it does, even right off the first sip, I can taste there's a little bit of that uh, chemical flavor. A little bit of that chemical flavor. Yeah. This needs more sweetness. It needs sugar for me. Or some type of little added creamer, like a mocha creamer. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Now, is it velvety smooth? Because that's the whole thing with this whole nitrogen uh, aspect of it. When you get it out of the tap. Yeah. This is like I'm, uh, you're driving on the highway and you want the 18 wheelers to honk their horn. You're like, rrr, rrr. wow, this uh, review is off the rails. It's like eight in the morning. I wanted to get my coffee fixed. I turned the camera on, the lighting's bad. I got a candle lit, aromatherapy. What's the uh, smell? Eucalyptus and spearmint, wafting. Can you get a scent of that? No, that is not invented yet. You cannot smell what I am smelling or taste. Purpose of this video, I'm all over the place. All right, so is it velvety smooth? I guess there's a little bit of a smoothness to it, um, but nothing that I would say, whoa, that has nitrogen infusion inside of it. Uh, let's try it out of the can. I don't know, is this gonna make it any better? It did. 
It did. I can tell you right after drinking it out of the can, it's better, but it's not like better taste wise. It just has a better feel. I don't know. It's just like a better feel coming out of the can. Uh, I guess the taste is a little bit better, but it still has a little bit of an aftertaste. It's not as sweet as I would like it. It is sweeter than I thought it was going to be because sometimes they say sweet and it's not sweet. So uh, I'm seeing how many times I can say sweet. Okay. Final breakdown. Overpriced, um, not sweet enough for me, little bit of a chemical taste, and I guess it is a little bit more smoother than a regular iced coffee, so I'd give them that uh, if they were able to capture the nitrogen infusion into this can. Um, yeah, let's give it a rating. On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the Nitrogen Cold Brew from Starbucks in a can sweet cream flavor, vanilla sweet cream flavor. Did I taste vanilla? Hints. Hints. Vanilla. Vanilla didn't come over the top for me, but I'm going to give that a rating of... I'll give that a 61. This is a 61. I will never buy it again. I still might try it inside of a Starbucks, um, but no, for $3, a nine ounce can of this, uh, not sweet enough and everything else I said, not a huge fan of that. And uh, that just goes into the long litany yeah, vocab word, a long litany of products I've tried in the past that does not uh, compute in canned or bottled form on the coffee side of things. So there you go, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, let me know. I think this came out... Um, I don't know, I read an article. I wanna say this came out at the beginning of the year. They started doing the uh, nitro cold brew in a can. Um, stick to the in-person nitro cold brew. Stick to the cold brew. Stick to the everything. Stick to the everything fresh from your uh, Starbucks, your Dunkin's, your Tim Hortons. Shout out Canada. All right, bonus footage. Look what the uh, Food Network kitchen had in the fridge. Chocolate Caramel uh, International Delight, Hershey's to be exact. Uh, this is probably blasphemy in the uh, coffee world, uh, but I poured the rest of the uh, can into there. We're going to pour some of this in just the tad. And uh, hold please, I gotta stir this. All right, I don't know why I told you to hold on. The spoon drawer was right next to me. We'll give it a little stir. See if this does the trick. Better. <laughs>